Spirit and power, Yahweh Shemal Shah. Lord, will I pray that it's edified. First and foremost, as always, I want to start by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great millstone and well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of earth, preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. And um, as y'all just seen, um, Jake was pretty much going in on about his pension. All right, as you see the title here uh, from a TikTok video, all right, it says, uh, this is what happens when you tell a driver that has been working for Yellow Freight for over 30 years that they are no longer going to have a pension, all right, which pretty much going into uh, to retirement, man. So this Jake, he spent over 30 years working for this company and just to, uh, for them to tell them that uh, his pension is gone, man, okay? His pension is gone. That's what you Jays get for trusting in Egypt, man. Okay, because hey, the uh, the Lord tell, tells you to st uh, store your treasures in heaven, man. And that's what the elect is doing. We don't have our faith and trust in no damn job here, man. All right, I'm going to just start off with that scripture. I'm going to get right into it, man. All right, because that's where you fail to realize that uh, Egypt, you know, the, uh, which I'm going to get that scripture too. The trust in Egypt is going to be your shame, man. Okay, wait a minute. Matter of fact, where was it? Salakia. Bear with me real quick. <clears throat> Let me see. No, it ain't it. Um, make sure. Oh, yeah, I was in the right chapter. Okay, uh, this is Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth. Where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Okay, so uh, this company, um, Yellow Freight, is going out of business. And now uh, they don't have no job. And not only that, the retirement, those that have been um, building their pensions, saving up the pensions of 401k or whatever, all that money's gone, man, down the drain, man. Okay, so pretty much they left them out in the dust, man. OK, because why are they laying their treasures on earth? You know, Jake, you know, and Jake don't play. You know, Jake don't play by his money and shit. But, hey, you know, Jake, he he like to lay his treasures on earth for the most part. Our people because they, they trust in his system, man. All right. And it's going to be more because we'll, me and the um, brothers was talking to, about this at camp. Well, uh, after camp today or yesterday. We was uh, discussing the situation. We was talking about the situation. I was, I made a statement that other trucking companies, you know, um, pretty much gonna follow suit. All right, and people might have questions after uh, 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 seeing this if they they run into this uh this situation right here. They they in the um the know about Yellow Freight. They might have questions. All right, for their uh, whatever companies they're at, like the uh, whoever drives trucks. You know, and, and question um if they're gonna have their pensions, man. And, hey, that can cause a a, a a a a serious domino effect. You know, uh, um, all hell, man, going on strike or whatever, man. So, hey, <laughs> hey, that's hey, that's why we say uh to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, come back to the Lord, man. Okay, because this place don't have that much time. Okay, so um Matthew six and nineteen again, it says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do have corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Basically, and they've been robbed. 
because the so-called white man, he's the devil, man. Okay. They probably, uh, been, um, storing the rest of that money up for themselves. The company getting all that money, man. They ain't getting shit, man. Okay. And now they filed for bankruptcy, basically robbing their ass. Okay. Verse 20, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. See treasures in heaven and us here primarily at Great Millstone, you know, um, and the other brothers that teach the same doctrine, we laying up our treasures in heaven. Okay, we're not trusting in this place, man. We have a sure investment in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Okay. Which we know our um the scriptures say our labor is not in vain. So you uh uh, uh so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that work these trucking companies or any other company, all right, your labors are pretty much in vain, man. Because this place is going to be destroyed. This place is going to uh, uh, pass away eventually, man. Okay? So the men of the Lord, we're, again, we're we're spiritually investing. Okay? And, and, and um, that's not going to be taken away, man. As long as we endure to the end, we're going to get our crown, man. We're going to cash in, man. Okay? So it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, whether neither, where neither moth nor rust do of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So they nobody can steal it, man. Nobody can steal our spiritual investment. Okay. The only way uh they uh can do that is if you uh, uh give up your crown, man. All right, like the scriptures say, um, let no man take thy crown. You give up, all right, you get disenchanted, you turn your back on your how about Shemal Shah. Okay, you let people get in your head. Hey, that's when Satan creeps in and, and you have your crown taken away, man. But for the most part, this is a spirit. Again, this is a spiritual investment that we're doing, going out there on highways and byways, first and foremost, doing the work, you know, um, doing these lessons like I'm doing now, keeping the laws to the best of our ability, you know, doing the works of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. OK, verse 21, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart, meaning mine, be also. So our our um hearts is on the Lord. So our treasure is going going to be a. Uh, be a sure treasure, so to speak. Okay. Our treasure is with the Lord, man. All right. So we got our mind on you or our heart on you. How about Shemal Shah? Because again, um, this is a, a, a sure investment. Okay. That we're, uh, that we're, um, storing, man. Okay. And like I said, we're about ready to cash in Lord willing. We, we endure because the Lord is getting ready to come back and destroy this goddamn place, man. He's going to destroy America. Okay, so let's get another scripture. Let's get uh, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. I'm going to start at 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, right, that they may add sin unto sin. So y'all taking the covering, covering after Satan, okay? You, you're, um... Investing these carnal riches, man, on on the, this earth when the dollar is about to collapse, and the, um the so-called white man, the devil is about to implement the MOTB, all right, which is going to be the new uh, 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 currency. It's going to be a worldwide currency that everybody must um um abide by or or, or um, bow down to, so to speak. It's B system, man. Okay, it's going to be a new way of life out here. But hey, the men of the Lord are not going to bow down to that man because hey we're not rebellious children okay we're obedient to Yahweh by Shemal Shah so that's why it says again woe to the rebellious children you two thirds woe means destruction say of Yahweh that take counsel but not of me and that cover that cover with a covering but not of my spirit you're not hey you people don't have the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Shah that's why you're gonna bug out in these times all right wait well, hey, wisdom and knowledge we brought this out at camp uh, today, uh, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability. Well, yesterday, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that times, right? It's stripped of salvation, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So we got the covering of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, all right? And, and the Lord's going to um take care of us, man. Why you people out here going to take the MOTB, uh, uh, you still going to starve to death because it's going to be a famine, okay? So it says, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin. That's why you catching hell, <laughs> Okay, you're gonna catch more hell, losing your jobs, man. More jobs gonna be lost. Hey, the scriptures say there shouldn't uh, be no work in Egypt. Okay, matter of fact, I might get uh, ended off on that. 
All right, this is uh, verse two. It says that walk to Salakia, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth and the mouthpiece of the prophets, uh, the mouthpiece of the Lord are the prophets. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. It says to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans want to strengthen yourself in the strength of Pharaoh, which the modern day Pharaoh is Esau. OK, and it says and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. See, trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. That's what uh, uh, that Jake that put all them years in that that uh, yellow freight trucking company has done. And now he has no pension. OK, his money is fucking gone, man. But hey, that's come that comes with trusting in, in the shadow of Egypt. So this is him, man. Verse three. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh, <laughs> therefore for the, sorry, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. See, now he, hey, the strength of Pharaoh is his shame now, because he has no pension, he has no retirement, and he's unemployed. Okay, basically he has to start from scratch with another company, man. All right, but these other companies, they're going to follow suit because America's going down, man. The dollar's about to collapse, okay? And, and, and this, like I said, this new system, which is the MOTV, is about to be implemented. It says, in the shadow of Egypt, or it's like, in the shadow, in the, in the, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. See? Now he's bugged out. He's like, what the fuck just happened? You seen that video, man. Y'all, he was like, y'all playing with my mother effing money man you know he's like he was dumbfounded he was shocked he was angry he was you know uh pretty much vexed man that he has no pension man okay all right so let me get another um let's sit on that let me get uh jeremiah 17 and 4 okay verse uh in verse 5 it says thus saith yahweh cursed be the man that trust of in man and make a flesh his arm see and whose heart departed from the lord so he wasn't um thinking about yahweh by shemel shah all right his heart was far from yahweh by shemel shah man and i'm quite sure he heard by the israelites one way or another because we've been out there for years man he had a, more than enough time probably to see the brothers over there because i believe that's over there on the west coast you know i know he ran into some camps or passed by some camps but, hey, you know, his heart wasn't um, with the Lord, man. You know, he, he wasn't thinking about the Lord. He probably scoffed at brothers, man. Okay. All that ass kissing he's doing with Esau now. Hey, hey, hey this devil going to stab him in the back as expected. Never trust thine enemy, man. Okay. Pro uh, probably was being an asshole. Because, you know, being that uh, there that long, he got all kind of promotions. And uh, probably being an asshole, you know, um, sucking up the Esau, you know. Having his chest poked out, and now he has no, now he has no pension, man. He has no job. So hey, that's what you get, man. That's why it says again, thus save Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Thus save the Lord Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed, meaning your mind, whose depart, whose heart, and whose heart departed from Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. So again, his heart, his mind was not in the lord man okay it was in that 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 pension <laughs> he's thinking about retirement he probably was going to retire soon man and now hey he is gone man nothing to show for it but that's what he get man we don't feel sorry for you niggas man they don't come back to y'all by shimel shy anyway man okay so I'm, I'm gonna close out with this scripture i quoted there should be no work because ultimately there ain't gonna be no work out here man there should be no work for egypt Yeah, con. Yeah, Isaiah 19 and uh, 15. Let me see. Uh, I could probably start up a little bit. Yeah, let me see some. Bear with me real quick. Yeah, I can start at 14. This is uh, Isaiah 19 and 14. It says, The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in the, in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggers in his vomit. Right. So this is a perverse place. We know this this is a wicked, perverse place 
and and, and primarily America's going to be destroyed by that because America is modern day Egypt. Okay, and you uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have erred, erred, man, meaning straight away, straight away from whom you how about Shemal was shot. Okay, and you uh, uh, um, leaning on to your own understanding, uh, all right, in all kind of religion, which is basically idolatry, doing all kind of wickedness, committing adultery, being a homosexual, you know, women being whores and sluts, so on and so forth, man. Okay. So, well, let me get the next verse. This is uh, the point. Isaiah 19 and 15 says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, see, which the head or tail brush or rush may do. Right. So, it ain't going to be no um, work at all here in um, Babylon, man, here in the modern day Egypt. And it um, tells you in, um, what's that, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, how the, um, the doors are going to be shut. Okay, pretty much. And it says in Apocrypha how um, the storehouse is going to be empty, man. Ain't going to be no food. Ain't going to be no trucks going, coming in, going in and coming out, you know, because the truck trucking companies are basically the veins of America, man. They pretty much um, are a big, big, huge part, a vital part of the, uh, the American economy. And that's going to stop. No food coming in, man. All right. They already got a rice ban. So uh, hey, that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. All right. So hey, things are moving, man. There ain't going to be no work at all, man. And you people going to starve to death. You, it's going to be a famine. And you people going to be eating each other. Okay. It's going to be all kind of chaos out here, man. Okay. Very soon. All right. So there ain't no, ain't going to be no work at all. I can't wait. All right. See everything shut down. Cause I'm tired of fucking working, man. Any damn way, man. I'm tired of this place. I'm tired of. Working for Esau, I'm trying to be a goddamn slave here. I'm ready for the kingdom, man. Okay? So, hey, you niggas keep continuing to trust in Egypt and see where it gets you, man. Keep trusting in America and see where the fuck it gets you, especially you damn women. All right, so with that, hey, Lord, when this is edifying, I'm going to sign off by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shemar Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and great minister on well. Peace, love, citations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and truth and in sincerity. I say shalom, come here, shalom, and the Bible ball. Shalom.